Hello, everyone, and welcome to Nisi Lexi podcast, and as well as the YouTube channel. We are here, super excited to have the very own, our lovely uh, business mogul who will be with us here today. And let me just introduce who she is. She is a multi award winning entrepreneur, a magazine publisher, a speaker, a mentor, a documentary producer. That's yours truly, Shelly Gerard. In 2015, she was honored as one of 100 Black women to watch for in Canada by the CIBWE.ca. And for the past 20 years, she has taught so many women, uh, people to create wealth for themselves as well as their family through insurance products and investment. And we're super thrilled to be having her here because she has extensive knowledge. This phenomenal woman is going to be sharing all the amazing things that she has been working on and how she'll be able to support you, especially if you're thinking of becoming a business owner or diving into the industry. For the first time, please help us welcome the phenomenal Miss Shelley, how are you doing? <laughs> I am fine. Thank you so much for that very warm, beautiful welcome. <laughs> and yeah, hello everyone and across Canada. Happy Thanksgiving weekend. I'm just so uh, honored uh, to be here and to share, you know, some of my my business journey here with your audience. Awesome. We are we're so pleased to have you. So. So please, for those individuals who don't know about you, because obviously you've been in the game for the past 23 plus years, please tell us about yourself and how did you even enter this industry? Okay, cool. And so, yeah, of course, my name is Shelly Jarrett and, you know, I go back way, way back, but my really, my, uh, my business uh, journey and my branding started about 10 years ago uh, when I left corporate. Um, actually, I do have a social work background and I sort of did that for about four years in my earlier time. And I went straight into financial services, spent 20 years in financial services until there was a financial recession, I think back in 2010. And that's when I left, um, similar to sort of what we're going through right now, there was a shifting and I was encouraged to, you know, just uh, leave corporate at that time. I worked for one of the major banks mm -hmm. and um, I was encouraged to go and do a business entrepreneurial course for women where you sort of learned everything you needed to know about starting your own business. And uh, mm -hmm. that was very successful. It was for four months. And so I learned everything, you know, how to do a business plan, taxation, bookkeeping, all the fun stuff. And after I left that, I launched an uh, uh, image consulting company, SJ Image Creation, which I want because of the social work background, you know, skills are transferable. So I wanted to say, let me work with women, dressing women for success in the in the in the marketplace, of course. And basically, these were uh, stay at home moms that wanted to go back out into the workforce. And so I would teach them how to communication scale, how to present yourself, how to prevent your brand. So I've been doing business consulting say, way back, right? Not knowing that you know, I'll fast forward to what's all the crazy stuff that's going on right now. Yeah. And so I did that for a while. And then I started getting a lot of uh, following on social media because, you know, 10, 15 years ago, that's when Facebook and that was really getting popular. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what, I need a, a wider platform, you know, to be able to help more, more women, support more women in, in their business ventures. And I started a magazine. I had no publishing background or anything like that, but I love fashion, of course, because I think we met at some fashion shows, right? And so I love fashion and that's so why don't I use those skills? And so I started the magazine. It's a, a business, um, it's an image, lifestyle and business publication, which I still have today. Nine years later, we still have the magazine. We yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the publisher of the magazine. And, you know, we are a team. I'm not there alone. I'm, I'm the publisher. I 
pretty much make all the decisions about the magazine but the, all the other stuff other people do so mm. it's uh, you can find me at any uh, fashion show of course it's arts and entertainment beauty and fashion health and wellness and faith and community and what, what we also do is give like uh, small business owners entrepreneurs a platform feature them mm. to be able to tell their business stories so fast forward to that I did like I've been doing that and out of that came you know the documentary so one thing mm-hmm. led to another and another so yeah so pretty much that's been my 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 business thing because really i i wear two hats i'm a business consultant as well as a documentary filmmaker so you know so the after making the documentary in yeah. 2019 you know that took me on a whole different uh, level yeah and so and so today because of covid and so i've had to pivot now so i'm doing e-commerce but you know it's been a journey <laughs> it's been a journey <laughs> most definitely i love the fact that you know what for every opportunity you see there is you always just kind of go ahead and conquer it and making sure that your presence is felt within the industry uh we're going to be talking more about about your business side, but I want to know more about the film side. So can you tell us what is the inspiration beside the film and where can we even see it right now? Okay. Okay. So that's interesting. So let's look, take take us back a little bit. Like I mentioned to you, I do have a social work uh, background, social work degree. I worked Mm -hmm. in the field for about four years. So I left that kind of stuff way back, not knowing that here comes 2017 and the Me Too hashtag broke you know Mm -hmm. across the world and i had at that time i had no knowledge of what this me too was all about because i was working on other stuff i was working more with the empowerment helping women and empowering them to do other things apart from that dark side Mm -hmm. and so i did some research and found that it was uh tarana burke she was the the started the hashtag because she was dealing with um young black women and, and and brown girls about their sexual assault situations and so mm-hmm. when and then i heard oprah talked about you know and um, at the golden globes about this sexual assault and this me too and i thought okay i this is not just happening in with influential women um entity women in the entertainment or political arena this is happening right in our communities mm-hmm. why don't i take a look at what's happening and i felt a sense of obligation having the magazine and a media platform that we really need to be telling our, our stories because it's not just these women it's happening to it's happening to our women to our mm-hmm. diverse women our bipac women and so we ran a, a feature in uh, i think 2018 in our winter edition about uh, women that were experiencing this. We went across the GTA and and spoke to Mm -hmm. some women. There were five women that told their stories. And when I read the stories, oh, it really broke my heart as to what was really happening in the community. And so that's what led me to said, you know what, this needs to be told on a bigger screen. We need to do a documentary. And this is how this all came about. So... Mm -hmm. So there were five women from there, but four uh, agreed to, I, I approached them and I said, listen, um, this story needs to be told. All the women need to hear this because that would help them to also speak up and tell their stories. Would you, I know this is in a magazine, it might reach about five or 10,000 people, but mm-hmm. on a bigger, larger screen, there's millions of people would be able to see this and help mm-hmm. other women. And they agreed that they, they would do the film. And so we cast, so four out of the, um earlier uh interviews did the the thing and mm-hmm. one you know she wanted to make up back with her situation so she didn't want to do it so fine we put out a casting call we knew that all women from all backgrounds were experiencing this so we wanted to capture all the major cultural background so we put out a casting call we were very specific in what we were looking for and women responded and we interviewed four more and that's how we have eight women uh, that tell their stories it's called what about us it's spelled very unusual because um 
when there's an artist, a musical artist made a song called What About Us? Pink, I think her name is. So we found that yeah. we could not, when I did the research, like we could not use that name. So we changed up the letters a bit and <laughs> came up with our own W, apostrophe A B O W T us. What yeah. About Us? It's very unusual branding. It's, it's been awesome. And so we made the, the film in 2018 um it was completed it took us 11 months mm -hmm. and the women you know like i said told their stories these are stories they're not individual stories these are stories that all we not you know women experience so it's yeah. not an isolated case you know it's about the issue it's not about so much the story because almost you know one in three women you know lose their lives to domestic violence or experience gender-based violence so yeah you know it was quite widespread and so yeah it took us 11 months to make the documentary um 30 hours of filming <laughs> as you you know about editing and so edited down to one hour and uh 15 minutes so oh, it's a full length documentary it's went on to do extremely well and so that was 2019 uh we launched the documentary in uh, may i think the international women's day um, yeah. in 2019 so we were just in the process of taking it across canada and you know we screened it a couple of times and um here comes 2020 march we were in uh in ottawa uh in the carlton university screening that night i think we were <laughs> one of the last people that left the university that night and the time we drove back to toronto everything was on lockdown so i how could how can i forget that experience and so here yeah. we are you know um 2021 so that's really the story of the documentary i mean it's played at numerous uh Film festivals, it was just played earlier this year at the Hamilton Black Film Festival. And in it would be playing again uh, at the Nollywood, Toronto International Nollywood Film Festival on the 30th and 31st of October. So it's mm -hmm. a big red carpet event. Thank God we're, we're opening our back slowly so I can hit the red <laughs> carpet again. It'd be my first time out, you know, since COVID. I'm quite looking forward to that. So we're, we're, it's been nominated in, in five categories, actually. Yeah. Oh, wow. Congratulations for all the major well, the surrounding the, the film itself. And I like yeah. the fact that it's, you know, it's produced original and also the fact that, you know, you're telling the story from first hand with the woman actually gets to be able to share their testimony. And that yes. in itself would help and inspire others who are going through similar situations. Yeah. Well, that's the whole idea. And, you know, I want to say I do not take all the credit for this. It's a team. Um, I was very fortunate that I just had the vision of what I wanted to be, what I wanted to look like mm -hmm. and how I needed them to tell this story. I just got all the, the creatives behind me and they're the ones that really need the director. Mm -hmm. She was super. I knew she was the right person to direct it and so everything just fell into place she brought her, her crew on board and so um yeah it just fell into place i mean it was very emotional because mm -hmm. to hear these stories is very hard to hear these stories so um yeah so i want to give credence and to the women to be so courageous i mean mm -hmm. i knew none of them honestly i didn't know them i just knew from my social work background that i need to listen those skills are very mm -hmm. very um, important listen be non-judgmental you know these stories are very real they're very painful mm -hmm. and they're very they were very courageous and it's like all forms of gender-based violence they were um child molestation um yeah. workplace harassment uh you know domestic violence yeah all forms of um, gender-based violence so um we, we're very pleased that it worked out really well yeah it is also um i would say like it's a very uh touchy subject not a lot of people are, are able to talk about it because there's so much stigma going behind those yes. topics and the fact that they were able to be like, you know, put that behind and actually make an awareness towards it, that's what bring them yeah. more to it as well. So yes. yeah, yeah, incredible work for you and your team. This is really something that we do need it. And to yes. be able to let other people who are going through it to be like, you know what, you're not alone. We can overcome you're this. You're not alone. We're here. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. And so what, what that has done, because then here comes COVID in 2020, I can't 
be filming right now we, we 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 chose not to be filming right now with so much so much responsibilities mm-hmm. and so i wanted to know well what do i do life goes on right covid is happening what life goes on and then i just realized i had to pivot like how yeah. do i pivot what do i do well luckily uh because of the documentary i had had a few merchandise like t-shirts and mm-hmm. um with our branding and mugs and thing book you know notebooks and so forth and so i said to myself you know what i need to do something with this and so i was fortunate i think the government of ontario was mm-hmm. having a um grant to you can have a website that you can you use a uh, e-commerce website and so i had that just finished building like about it's in first stage it's not yeah. uh, fully launched it's just i just did a a, a a mini launch about a week ago yeah and um yeah so i just use those items and i start uh, promoting those branding on yeah. there so i want to take uh, as you know our lives is about storytelling our story started like way ago 400 years ago yeah. you know c- from our ancestors coming out of africa and these kinds of stuff so we're always telling our stories whether it's our family story or our business stories yeah you know so i d- decided that this movement because this what about us is not just a documentary it's a movement you know mm-hmm. it's community because if all of us can get involved in what's happening in the community we can help to make policy changes and so forth so i've designed some of the merchandise around journaling and journals and notebooks mm-hmm. and um business accessories so because i want to tell the story of women you don't have to be in this situation you can think of what are your gifts and talents how you can move yourself from your situation now to a better situation with yourself and your family you can think of entrepreneurship you can do something with your life so i'm wanting to promote like journaling because that starts people start writing and reflecting on their feelings and where yeah. they are now to where they want to be so that's my kind of branding right now just um supporting women and you know organizations in the community that help women to escape domestic violence and so forth so that's my my journey now <laughs> I love it I um I'm really touched by it because even though I met you a couple of times I really didn't know like the deep the depth behind everything that you do but just yeah. to kind of like now kind of have to sit down and actually getting to know it it will even kind of like resonate with other people who are going through a similar problem or trying to be inspired to do similar things so thank you yeah. for sharing that this is really like helpful and very powerful story for for sure sure thank you yeah and another thing that i wanted to ask you obviously diving into any new industry can be extremely hard especially with the covid and all so how do you navigate in order to achieve all the success like what is the the process like for you in order to make sure that you know what i have this desire have this idea i'm going to execute it yeah you know it's it's um as much as it's challenging it's good it's fun and it's always important to be doing the things that you enjoy doing so every day you wake up and you says well what who am i going to support today how am i going to help somebody today mm-hmm. because of covid and being at home and 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 i'm at home but i'm on my computer like I'm a little bit of a I must say a workaholic. I I, I, <laughs> I understand you on that part. <laughs> yeah, only because I enjoy what I do. But now even for last year there were a lot of uh supports with a lot of uh how to pivot, how, learn how to do digital marketing, learn how yeah. to do this because I think I reached out to you a couple of times as well. Yeah. You know, all those skills I'm having to learn that I didn't have before i mean some of it really it can be overwhelming but yeah take the take the take the opportunity because now i said covid has been a curse as well as it's been a blessing because there are so mm-hmm. many opportunities right now especially for black women for bipoc women i mean there's all kinds of grants uh giving out you just have to find where they are and apply i mean i myself got a I got a grant um Mm-hmm. you know i got a $10,000 grant to enhance what i'm doing and so i would say it's challenging but i'm learning a lot of things because i'm on, on a zoom maybe mm-hmm. 
three, four times for the week, just learning different skills, learning how to do business plan all over again, because, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I've had to change even my business. So, you yeah. know, I'm doing that, financials. Over yeah. the summer, I had a, a student, I had to do the payroll. I yeah. was having a panic attack one one day because I thought I paid the person the wrong money. <laughs> so, because you know what it's like, you go to work yeah. and when you get your paycheck, you want it to be correct, right? So <laughs> I, I had to learn to do payroll. Not that I love doing it, but I've had to learn to do a lot of things that I didn't set out to to, to do at all. I'm a creative, I'm a visionary. That's yeah. what I do. But now COVID tells me I gotta gotta pivot, gotta do different <laughs> things. So I, I'm managing, but it's 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 it's, it's hard. <laughs> Trust me, business being an entrepreneur is a huge journey. A lot of people won't understand. It's like only other entrepreneur will be like okay you know, get what you're saying <laughs> with all the long yeah. hours the panicking they're like oh okay finally relief we got it right <laughs> yeah exactly so you know it's always stuff to do but i find these uh these tutorials are very 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 helpful you just listen you just have to time it's time management to listen to all these different videos and tutorials and be on these zoom trainings and, and these master classes and it's just like a whole learning that you there was it was nowhere in your planning it just happened and you had to yeah go because like i said as an entrepreneur you're always looking for opportunities there are always opportunities when somebody sees something mm -hmm. you see something completely different you see where you can do something with that and so like i said i had no idea of even my idea when i screened the documentary was to have like a, a little table with all my merchandise and that's mm -hmm. all i was doing i wasn't i didn't even think of e-commerce with it at that time and i would always have panel discussions because as you know this is a big social justice issue that always yeah. invite the men also on the panel to get their perspective because it's mm -hmm. uh, both male and female uh in this in this um situation and so that was only my thing to do panel discussions and merchandise like that but didn't know that i ha would have the opportunity to expand on merchandising so that's where my focus is right now and having to you know continue to tell these stories and community mm -hmm. impact the community and this is what i'm doing you want to partner with me and i find partnership and collaborations are very good because you cannot do this alone you yeah. have to partner and yeah and that gives you a step further in what you're doing so yeah so um, it's a journey it's a journey it's an incredible one journey <laughs> it sure. is it is you know from one day to the next you don't know what's gonna happen yeah so i know you spoke so much about just you know building a brand you need to support you need a community and things like that uh, so for those young because i have a lot of young audiences from around the world like from africa australia uk even here in canada they do tune in or sometimes they will ask me for advice so what are support or resources that are available for them to help them kind of progress in the industry right now like that you can share with them right yeah you know like just google like you just google every anything you need to learn anything you need to know how to do it just just google how do i do this how do i do that and <laughs> so many things will pop up because like i said there's so many opportunities um that yeah. came available now that anything you want to learn you mm -hmm. just um access these um there's a lot on facebook if you go to facebook or instagram mm -hmm. always and most of them are free you know so just tap into all these free um tutorials and these free things that are telling you what you need to do and okay. follow your dreams follow your dreams follow your goal don't let anybody tell you you can't yes you can yeah i mean i did from you know you know you're gonna your career is gonna change over time over my career has changed so many times and some mm -hmm. of it unexpected because like i said um i always had aspirations for film and that but never knew i'll be thrust into it like that like mm -hmm. this me too thinking came out of nowhere and I thought this is a great opportunity to um you know connect with women and get women to really tell their stories because these are things happening in our community and so so they build something out of that because it's a like I said it's a journey and it's a movement right it doesn't yeah. end at one documentary right yeah. and and the other thing to over uh COVID what what 
have learned that we all know of financial abuse, a form of, 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 of abuse against uh, women mm. and, um, and, and men as well, but primarily women. Um, oh, last year there was economic abuse that came out of over because a lot of uh, women were trapped at home with their abusers. It was in isolation, you know, when we were in lockdown. And so that was very traumatic. That was a lot going on. It was very fluid at the time, you know, I along with some organizations that I'm aligned with, did mm -hmm. a lot of counseling and a lot of support last year when things were really in lockdown. So out of that came economic abuse. So that's another area of educating uh, mm -hmm. women about awareness. Some women may not know they're economically abused by their spouse. I mean, for example, taking away somebody's credit card and they can't use it. These are all signs of of, of economic abuse or denying you to work that I the woman say I want to go to work and the spouse says no you cannot work because of different reasons that is economic abuse because they're denying them their economic right to to provide for themselves so there's a lot of learning um, going on and needs to be out there that people are not aware of because there's like so much going on right now mental health mm -hmm. You're dealing with so many things. So, you know, I would encourage um, anyone that wants to pursue entrepreneurship, go for it. Because especially now, post-COVID, there's not a lot of jobs going on. You got to create your own opportunity. And, and the, the opportunities are there for you to do the things that you love to do. Yeah, that's for sure. And just speaking about women and entrepreneurship, I do like from the stats that I'm reading, there is a lot of us right now. It, it's growing by proportion. But in terms of like the grants and the support, a lot of them might not be aware of. Right. And yes. that is why we have people like yourself who offer a consultation in order to mm -hmm. kind of educate them with. So can you walk us through on what involved in your consultation and how can people reach out to you to get that consultation because you are a sure consultant. sure well i i consult on how to come up with a business name mm -hmm. what are your gifts and talents what business you want to do for example how to register your business you know, uh, basic things like that. I don't do business plans. I would refer you to, you mm -hmm. know, I do a lot of referral service to people mm -hmm. that will do a proper business plan once you have the vision and mission of your company. And uh, also I would just help startups, just find out what your, what are your gifts of that? What is this exactly you want to do? Mm -hmm. Why you want to do it? You know, is it sustainable? these kinds of things is it community based because whatever you do you're not a one man show it you know it have to involve community and it's it's better supported by the community whatever it is that you want to pursue so yeah. things like that i um also like again like i have the five rules for business success you know like last year because of the course that i did i i converted those modules into video modules that you can learn like i said how to do taxation and that mm -hmm. so i do have that that course it's the five rules for, for business success um the course is i think it's 50 dollars per course um i graduated three classes so far from last year um to this year i graduated three classes but now i'm providing them online you can go to my website and you can purchase the course online on the website so those are some of the things that i do and you know just mentorship on people that wanting to pursue their startup business and how do they go about it and things like that so excellent so for definitely for sure and then they can also go to your website which i'll be posting in the description below yeah my new, my new website. <laughs> yes yes Yes, yes. Amazing. So I want to take you back, back before everything is started, right? Mm -hmm. So what do you, who are some of your influencers growing up that inspire you to tap into the business or even right. like filmmaking? Yeah. Right. I think, I think family, like more, you know, just the strict background of my grandmother, my grandparents, all the women, all my cousins, the women, they're all strong women that's doing their stuff. And they were great role models. My aunts, they're always, 
you know, the forefront of, of, of change, right? And I, I learned from them. And, and from when I was a little child, I don't know, I think I was about three or four years old and I spluted out the word business administration. I don't know where that word <laughs> came from at four years old, but I think I've always been on this path of having my own business. I think one yeah. of the things that scare me is um, being fired from work to be honest and that's what drove me but that fear drove me into my own business always business minded mm. always have my way of doing things and yeah it landed me to be my own boss right now and so now we i do have uh two companies mm-hmm. um you know that i operate together uh three companies sorry yeah. three companies because i just started this consulting company that mm-hmm. i do my business um business and e-commerce business consulting and e-commerce and i have the film company which i i, I share um partnership mm-hmm. with my husband and i also have the magazine which is in partnership with my husband so yeah so like three companies yeah I, don't I, ask me how i get through them but <laughs> and i'm enjoying all of them because they're all interrelated <laughs> I love it. They're like a branch of each other, which is really amazing. Yeah, because my my business goal is that I make enough money in my business that I can fund my own stories, my own films, my own documentaries. Yeah. So I know I got to work a little harder. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> these films are quite expensive to make. Yeah, to produce. Amazing. And one thing that I can relate to you, because I know you said that, you know what, the fear of you actually being fired was the reason why you want to be your own boss for me i remember at age of 23 years old i was working in the fashion uh, industry as a sales advisor and the company went bankrupt and we were laid off and so because of that i'm like no like the next time i'm getting a job it's just going to be a learning process it's not going to be something that i'm going to here forever and i need to start thinking about creative uh, way of kind of like you know tap into the entrepreneurship and making sure that I'm util- utilizing my skills and ever since yeah that's where all the Nisi Lexi Lexinel came about so I do relate with do that and I feel yes. like we always get to understand our why and just kind of pursue yes it. and I think even if you do hold down a full-time yeah. job you should really still have something on the side that you can yeah. that you love to do and you can have it in case of anything happen yeah. just like covid happened nobody expected this to happen you always have to have something to fall back on so yeah. you can do your side hustle that's that's quite mm-hmm. you know acceptable to do and don't yeah. ever give up your dreams and your goals yeah yeah that's for sure thank you so much for sharing that and obviously you are an award winning for multiple things oh my god <laughs> <laughs> yeah and yes, can yes. you tell us about one of your obviously these awards could be a lot of the best memories right can you share with us one of your most memorable moments or experience so far just by being a film producer as well as like a business owner and things like that oh wow you know there've been so many and i'm just so so grateful i'm not really motivated by the awards that i get i am motivated by the work that i do and the impact i'm making in the community that somebody can see well if she can do it i can do it too so i mean i'm so grateful so truly honored to receive all these awards but i think my my best award so far is hard to say that because everybody you know is giving me award and they like to think but my best one was in 2019 i yeah. received the award from organization for the small business week in 2019 rpa accountant firm um it was took me by surprise uh they found me on linkedin mm-hmm. and they felt that i was doing a great job in the community and i that that one was very impactful and um yeah and it's my best one it's a beautiful glass has my name on it and it it is a great honor to for small business week um yeah. award women entrepreneurial award for small business week in 2019 the congratulations that's a huge success as well i, I love that Thank you. <laughs> what advice do you have for our young viewers 
follow your dreams. Don't let anybody tell you you can't, you know, get all the proper information, legal information about your company that you started. Make sure you're in the right side of the law with your, your yeah. company and just go for it. Think community base. Um, always be positive. Stay away from people that tell you you can't or that's not good what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I would say follow your dreams, follow your goal tap into people like myself, like you, uh, like you and, um, yeah, just go for it. And, um, yeah, just get as much training as possible. Be very, uh, a way ahead of your time with your business. Just do all the research and be sharp with your business, whatever you're doing. And I wish you all good, best wishes. Like, you're going to make it. If I am making it, you're going to make it. Amen. <laughs> because we we have all the resources at the tips of our hands. Everything, you know, you can do a business on your phone. Yeah. You know, simple as doing a business on your phone. So, yeah, go for it. So stay the journey. Stay the journey. For sure. For sure. So, mm. I want, obviously, with regards to social media, social media has a huge impact in a lot of companies, whether you're an artist uh filmmaker or things like that how has social media impacted your own brand well to start like i remember i told you i when i first started it's a, a notice i put out on facebook anybody want to write for the magazine and that's how come i got the writer so it's been a tremendous uh help but just know that social media is not everything because as you know we we were down for six hours <laughs> a few days ago so you still had to pick up the phone go back to old school pick up the phone call the organization call the client email marketing these are all important other things that we can do to reach clients to reach yeah. people so you know you know social media is great but also know there are other platforms and other ways of meeting people and running your business yeah most definitely that's why i say every business owner should have a website just in case things like that oh happen. website oh most As definitely yeah. yes 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 for sure. Thank you so much. We appreciate you for being here today and sharing your incredible story as well sure. as all the impactful work that you've been doing. And for those who wanted to learn more about her, feel free to visit her website, which I'm going to be dropping in the description below. She also have the smjmmag.com that you can also yeah. find more detail about there and also her story. And yeah. for your and film... Shell and House of Film. And Shell and House... Shell and House of Film, yeah. Awesome. And then we're also going to be screening your film. Yes, the, the 30th and 31st of October, I think T-I-N-F-F, -F, Toronto International Nollywood Film Festival. Um, oh. They're on Instagram and Facebook. You can find them and follow, follow them. And yeah. Excellent. And then be virtual, virtual screening as well as in person. So. Oh, awesome. And for those who wanted to kind of like uh, get a clip of the film, are they going to be going, can they purchase it somewhere or like watch it somewhere outside of? No, the they'll need to, they'll need to contact me in order yeah. first to get a screening. It's not okay. free at this point, but there are trailers on YouTube. Uh, if you go to YouTube, Shell and House of Films YouTube channel, the, yeah. the trailers are there. They're, they're, I think there are two trailers will give you an insight as to what it's incredible you. amazing thank you so much for being here we really love having you coming yeah. and feel free to come back anytime <laughs> sure thank you for having me and have a great weekend you're most definitely welcome and have a thanksgiving yes thank you same to you too bye-bye mm -hmm.